The world according to Briggs picked Grand Rapids as one of the top places to live, so we decided to check it out. Please come to Grand Rapids. Okay, forget the big cities. GR is is the hot spot right now. So there, there's a little bit of everything here. I mean, we have uh, theaters here. We have a, a stadium. We have uh, a lot of colleges, a lot of churches, a lot of different opportunities for growth. In this episode, I'll show you the pros and cons of living in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The second largest city in Michigan, with just over one million people in the metro area, is located along the Grand River. Lake Michigan is about a 45 minute drive to the west, making it a great getaway during the hot summers when you want to enjoy a day at the beach. So here's the top reasons you'd want to consider packing up a U-Haul with your stuff and heading to Grand Rapids to live. Number one, beer. Grand Rapids has more than 80 breweries. Recently, Grand Rapids was named Beer City USA. Enjoying award-winning craft beers and tours of local breweries make this an endless beer-cation if you reside here. Stopping by the Founders Brewing Company downtown, we could see locals sipping and enjoying the brew. Studies have shown that those who gather at a local bar have a wider support group of friends, improve their social skills much more so than being online, and trust others more. And all that from just drinking beer. Number two, social zone. Grand Rapids is one of a few places in North America where you can purchase your wine, beer, and liquor from a recognized business and head outside into the zone to drink with your friends without worrying about getting stopped by the police and receiving a huge fine. This is one of the cooler parts of living in GR. The city has nine social districts, and if you ever wanted to bring your dog with you to a bar, this could be your chance. Since the zones are outdoor public spaces, pets on leashes are allowed. Pretty much anything downtown, and then if you go up to like Forbes and Stocking, that's kind of like where it ends, but certain establishments, you know, like this one, New Holland Bells, you can put in a plastic cup and then, like I said, walk anywhere downtown if you want to. And in September, Grand Rapids holds Art Prize, an urban art adventure, which is held in the social zone. Visitors can look at art outside with a drink in hand. Tip. The easiest way to know if you're still in your social zone to drink on the go is look for the trash cans with the orange rings around them. Number three, hip. Grand Rapids changed more in the decade of the 90s than it had in the collective 20th century. According to MoveHub's annual International Hipster Index, Grand Rapids ranks as one of the hippest cities in the world. Besides beer, the city is well known for the local coffee shops, which make sure you get a jolt of your daily caffeine. You can check out the well-known Madcap Coffee Company, which features ethically sourced coffee beans. They whip up amazing flavors that combine coffee with the likes of dark chocolate, watermelon, and orange zest. We also checked out the Roots Brew Shop. They serve premium coffee with fresh food in a laid-back setting. They even have Waffle Saturdays, where proceeds often go to support local groups and charities, which is a bonus. Hipness abounds when you spot a cool-looking pizzeria, a meadery with gaming, and a place serving up cocktails all on the same block. And if you head over to the downtown market, you can find all kinds of foods from different cultures while shopping for unique items. And then there's nearby East Town, known as the Greenwich Village of Grand Rapids. There's Uncle Cheetah's Soup Shop, there's Improv at the Wealthy Theater, and the Hancock, a remodeled gas station serving fried chicken and alcoholic slushies. Finally, what could be cooler than living in one of these many old industrial buildings that were converted into loft apartments? And if you love modern art, downtown Grand Rapids features a sculpture installed back in 1969. Locals call it simply the Calder, the last name of Alexander Calder, a famous artist known for his public sculptures. It sports Calder's signature color red, and it's interesting to walk around the sculpture to study it from different viewpoints. For Medical Mile. One of the reasons we came back to Grand Rapids is for good medical care. Um, I had several things that needed more attention that I felt I could get from the little hospitals in our small town. If you've ever worried about getting sick, Grand Rapids is known for its medical mile. There are multiple hospitals lying the street, with researchers here constantly creating new medical technology to save lives. So if you have a medical emergency, you'll find the care that you need with top healthcare staff located all within one area. Number five, great schools. It's a wonderful place to raise a family. 
I think you can send your kids to school here and know that they're going to get a, an education from people that care about educating children. Grand Rapids consistently ranks at the top for education. Many schools from elementary to high schools here receive A's for their teachers, college prep, club and activities, and sports. If you look at the Grand Rapids City High Middle School shown here, it was ranked the best in the state and 18th for the country by U.S. News & World Report. So, if you move here with your family, it's great knowing that your kids can get a valuable education that will get them into a college or university of their choice. And speaking of higher education, Grand Rapids has 15 universities and colleges, including Grand Valley State University, Calvin University, Aquinas College, and Kendall College of Art and Design, which has a number of galleries on campus with exhibitions by artists from around the world, including students and faculty as well. Number six, home prices. According to Zillow, the median house price in Grand Rapids is $230,000, which is 35% less than the national average. We drove around the city to find what's available, and like I mentioned before, we saw that a lot of the old industrial buildings have been transformed to loft apartments, where a two-bedroom, one-bath apartment will cost an average of $1,400 a month. It would be nice to live in a walkable neighborhood where you can shop locally and enjoy the many amenities that the downtown offers. Another downtown possibility is a condo. Just a few days ago, a condo sold on the 22nd floor for $387,000. It has two bedrooms and two baths with floor-to-ceiling glass windows with amazing views of the city and Grand River. The building includes a swimming pool and a fitness center. A five-minute drive from downtown is this home, which sold a couple months ago for $139,000. It's 1,600 square feet and offers three bedrooms and one bath. If you need more room, this home is located in upscale East Grand Rapids and is listed for $725,000. It features four bedrooms and three bathrooms with 2,400 square feet. Floor to ceiling windows, a deep soaking tub and shower, and a built-in wet bar are just some of the perks if you moved into this mid-century jewel. Of course, we had to check out the Heritage Hill Historic District where lumber barons from the 1800s built their mansions. One notable restored home is the Meyer May House, which was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. It's not hard to see his unique style, which features horizontal lines and masses, plus beautiful glass stained windows with their geometric abstractions. We found a home right around the corner, which was built in 1911. Listed for $649,000, the home has four bedrooms and three baths with a total of 3,060 square footage. The home features a huge room with beautiful wooden floors where once lavish parties were held. Peter Albertini, the realtor, was on hand to give us one great reason to consider moving into this area. One of the main attractions for me, besides having a beautiful house, I live in Heritage Hill, is walking, uh, pedestrian traffic. I know every dog in the neighborhood. I don't know all the owners, but I know every dog. Uh, and I can do the things I did in New York City, which is walk. I can walk to a restaurant. I can walk downtown to a market. I could walk down to Monroe, which is the epicenter of the city of Grand Rapids. We're putting in a lot of different things, an amphitheater, we're looking for a soccer team. Uh, just so much growth. Uh, and I think people who come from other areas appreciate the fact that growth and history uh, can co coincide. You can even live in a castle. Just outside of Grand Rapids is a 522 unit apartment complex designed to look just like a castle. You won't find a moat, but there's a drawbridge at the front and a 15-story tower to get the best views of the city. Who would expect to find the second largest castle in the world located in Grand Rapids, Michigan? Number seven, entertainment. I've sung in the Grand Rapids Symphony Chorus. Uh, there's, a, there's a fine arts camp called Blue Lake, not very far from here, and I sang in the alumni choir there because I was a supporter of Blue Lake. If you're looking for entertainment, the city boasts a professional opera, a symphony, ballet, an art museum, theaters both stage and screen, a zoo, the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park, a public museum, and many places to shop. It's really all about having big city amenities with small town affordability. Uh, there are plenty of thrifting shops, uh, plays, ballet. It may not be Chicago or New York standards, but it is still very good. As always though, there are a few cons about living in Grand Rapids. 
But before I go through them, be sure to click subscribe and press the bell so we can bring you more videos about the places we are considering moving to. Number eight, need a car. Like most places in the US, you'll need a car to get everywhere in the city, except for a few walkable areas. Urban sprawl is the norm here, and just to make things more frustrating, it was listed as one of the top 10 cities with the worst maintained roads. I guess that's good news if you're an auto repair shop looking for customers with suspension and tire damage to their vehicles, but obviously it's not so good news for drivers. Number nine, violent crime. Violent crime here is 72% higher than the national average while property crime is slightly above the US average as well. Of course, it's centered in a few areas, but as you well know, crime can happen anywhere. And Grand Rapids did make the news back in May of 2020 when the death of George Floyd was followed by a large riot here downtown where police cars and dumpsters were set on fire. Many windows were broken and stores were looted. It resulted in over $2 million in damage and police costs. Number 10, depressing weather. Now the fall and summer are relatively enjoyable here, but if you suffer from the blues during cold overcast weather, Grand Rapids may not be for you. On average, the city only gets 158 sunny days compared to the national average of 205. And a warm winter coat is a must if you plan on getting out during the winter. The lake effect from Lake Michigan has actually increased snowfall in the city over the past years. Another thing to be aware of before moving to Grand Rapids is the controversy at the Patmos Library, located just outside of Grand Rapids. Because the library has LGBTQ books, the local voters decided to end the financing of the library. A GoFundMe page was actually created to help the library. They raised over $261,000, $50,000 of that which came from Nora Roberts, a romance novelist. Even with the money raised from the GoFundMe page, the library can only last another year. So overall, we like the fact that Grand Rapids has a downtown that has become more trendy with all of its breweries, coffee shops, and renovated apartment lofts. And the social zone would be great to enjoy during the summer, and we can't wait to attend Art Prize. Grand Rapids also has all the stores and shops we would ever want to visit. The home prices are sure tempting, but the cons include having to drive everywhere, and the overcast weather is a no-go for us. So if Grand Rapids isn't quite right for you, stay tuned for our next video about a bigger city that's also turning itself around to attract newcomers. And please be sure to check out other cities we've visited.